G'day there. One of the special things about living on a small farm or acreage is the connection you can have with our native wildlife. Being able to step outside to experience birds, frogs, lizards and a diverse range of other animals can be very rewarding. As a land manager, you can do a lot to protect native animals and support them on your land. So let's cover a few quick tips on how to protect and support our native wildlife and protect yourself as well. Studies show that cats roam far and wide and decimate wildlife. Keep your favorite feline inside at night and take the pressure off our native animals. Also, plant a variety of local native shrubs, especially dense or prickly ones, to give native animals protection and habitat. Provide bird baths and other watering points, particularly during dry times. Build and maintain nest boxes where only a few hollow trees remain. Monitor the nest boxes to ensure they're not being taken up by pest species such as Indian miners and starlings. Leave fallen timber and hollow logs on the ground where fire is not a major threat. Keep a belt of native trees to connect bushland areas. These will provide habitat and stepping stones for small birds and mammals that can't travel larger distances. Contact WISE on 1800 094 737 if you find sick or injured wildlife on your property. And one last point of warning, although we would like to live in harmony with native animals, sometimes they can be a threat to our safety. Several species of venomous snakes may live in your area and it's best to be alert from about late October to early March. Give snakes space and they will generally move on. Most snake bites recorded in New South Wales happen to people who try to catch or kill them. Until next time, cheers.